Hello and welcome to the Cheez It 355 at Watkins Glen International for the first road course race of the season of, I believe, either two or three. It'll probably be a bit of a snoozer, but this is the best road course on the schedule by far. So, because they can actually attempt to pass at the very least. Anyways, so look at your starting lineup. On pole is going to be Kevin Harvick, and starting second is going to be William Byron. In third is Daytona 500 winner Joey Logano, and fourth Martin Truex Jr. In fifth is Eric Jones, and sixth Blaney, seventh is Suarez, eighth is Elliott, ninth is Jeffrey Earnhardt, tenth is Larson, eleventh is Ryan Priest, twelfth is Hamlin, thirteenth is Bowman, 14th is Boyer, 15th Tanner Berryhill, 16th is Ty Dillon, 17th Jimmy Johnson, 18th is Matt DiBenedetto, 19th Matt Tiff, 20th is Kurt Busch, 21st Kyle Busch, 22nd is Darrell Wallace Jr., 23rd is going to be the 37 of Chris Buescher, 24th Brad Keselowski, 25th Eric Almirola, and rounding out the field in last, is a 96 of Parker Klingerman. 20 laps here today at the 2.5-ish mile road course. This is basically the only road course you can pass at on the schedule. We're going to find out if they can pass today. There should be at least one pit stop this race. They shouldn't be able to make it all the way to the end on fuel. That was the only lead change last season, and I believe the person who came out of the pits first wasn't the leader, and he won the race. It was Eric Almarola, I think. It's a question of tires. Do you want to stay out longer or less? Try to get a sh try to get an undercut or an overcut. Last time, the people that pit early were the ones that got the edge, but that could change in this race. And it's still, even though this is a bit of a boring race most of the time, it's still anyone's guess who gets off of the line first and takes the lead into turn one. Although it's most likely going to be the pole sitter, Kevin Harvick. He's won, I believe, three poles at this track. Pace car peels into pit road. As we prepare to go green, and we are racing at Watkins Glen. Harvick with a good jump. He goes to block William Byron. Logano looked to his inside, but can't quite do it. Off of turn one, Kevin Harvick is clear for the lead. Kevin Harvick to lead lap number one, Joey Logano will be second, and the outside pole sitter, William Byron, drops all the way back to fourth. The outside is not the place you want to be on the starts, as you can see just how much time he lost as they head up the hill through the S's now. Couple cars going side by side back there, further in the pack. Suarez was getting past, I believe. 
Uh, yes, he was, by Ryan Priest. You can see the cars can run pretty close to each other, but it's difficult to pass. Logano has to hope that Harvick makes a mistake, or he can get close enough to move him. That is the name of the game at this track. It's basically a race of endurance. There has never been a single caution in the history of racing at this track in the series since around season 5 or 4, whenever it debuted. And you can see that showing as these cars are definitely not... They might be close, but they aren't super close. And you can see they're trying to make passes deeper in the field, but it's harder to pass the further you up in the pack. Up the S's now. Logano has a bit of a run on Kevin Harvick, but can he make the pass? Oh, he was there. Not quite close enough to make the move unless he can maybe move him in the carousel. No, he just isn't close enough. It can be exciting to watch the midfield battles, but the battles closer to the front aren't exactly very plentiful. Road courses just haven't ever been that interesting at this track. A bit of a gap now from 7th to 8th, as those guys were the ones that were the highest up battling for position. There have been passes for 2nd at this track, but not very many passes for the lead. There have been attempts, but not completions. Down into turn 1, Joey Logano is still riding the bumper of Kevin Harvick, but is unable to complete the pass. He just has to hope that he gets a better exit up the S's. That's the only time we've ever seen anyone go side by side for the lead, is the leader makes a mistake after going up the hill. And it seems like he got a pretty good run that time, but Harvard Logano might still be a little faster, but not fast enough. He is right there, though. Can he make the move? No, he cannot. You can see Eric Jones in third, also hungry to maybe make a move, but it is unable to be made. The fastest lap ran right now isn't by the leader, but by Alex Bowman, who is much faster than the leader. A couple tenths faster, but obviously difficult to pass at this track. Bowman himself is running... Let's have a look-see here... somewhere. I don't know where if I could find him. Bowman is running currently in P10 on the racetrack. Ooh, Byron looked for the move on Jones. Couldn't quite make it stick. Jones has now dropped back on Logano since he was having to cover off Byron and Elliot might be able to make a pass for fourth. Logano doesn't even doesn't really have much help. The, these cars are still quite draggy. That's how this package works. But that means you're going to need someone with you, maybe, if you want to be close. Elliot was there on Byron, but couldn't quite complete the pass. Or even get side-by-side -side with him. The question is, do they have to pit? And if they do, who comes out on top? Ooh, Harvick maybe looked a little squirrely in the breaking zone for turn, uh, for the second to last corner. Turn 10, that is. Look at this. It's a single file freight train, but everybody's bunched up pretty heavily. Ooh. Logano got a little loose there, but he's li he's a little bit back. He might be able to get a run after going up the hill here. Martin Shirk Jr. and Ryan Blaney go side by side. Logano's got a run, but is it going to be enough? Oh, he looks! 
down into the bus stop. Logano can't complete the move. He had a look, though. Ooh, contact between Priest and Truex. They are side by side back there. Truex is going to be stuck on the outside groove of the carousel and lose some spots. Logano had a look down into turn one. Or, or not turn one, excuse me, the bus stop. But it wasn't enough to try and make the pass. He got close, but not too close. If he's going to make a move, he's going to have to really get a good run at the four. Which he might be able to do on the front stretch. No, he's not going to be able to do it. If anything, Jones is pressurizing Logano for second. More than Logano is pressurizing Harvick for the lead. It's been a decent battle in the midfield, but not for the lead. And it's also a pretty short race today as well, so we won't have to deal with this for too long. Meanwhile, Bowen's getting held up back there. He's He tried to make a pass on Jeffrey Earnhardt, couldn't make it happen. Jones had a slight look into the bus stop, but he didn't make the move for the second spot. And if he had done it, he might have been able to hold on. These guys really could send it in under brakes and make an overtake if they wanted, but they just haven't done it yet. It's just a snake at the front of the field, but these guys seem to be maybe pulling away from Byron a little bit. Byron's making some mistakes and losing time bit by bit. Exit speed is everything at this track. Especially since if you're going to make a pass, you need a run. Since these guys are just not making moves on one another. They've tried, but they can't do it. Up the hill. Logano fall, falling back on Harvick a little bit that lap. But he's multiple miles an hour faster this time. Does he look? No, he does not. Still, basically nothing going on. This track was in danger of maybe losing its slot on the schedule, and it might happen after this race. Because it's taken a few seasons, and Watkins Glen has just not put up a show. Hold on a moment. I'm going to check if I can do something real about this real quick. Oh, and was there a caution? No, it, there wasn't. It looked like they were bunching up a little bit, like there might have been a yellow, but there was not a crash or anything. They just get really close in turn one, but they don't try to pass. Let's see if there's a move into the bus stop this time, and if not, I'm going to try to do something about this. I don't know if I can fix it mid-race. But I might be able to. Ooh, Logano has a run! Down into the bus stop, cannot, just still can't make the move. No ability to make the pass. Alright, let's see if I can do something about this real quick. I might be able to fix it mid-race, but I don't know if the game will let me or not. Let's have a look-see here. Does drag really need to be that high? No. I apologize for the lag because of this, but when I click out of the game to try and make a modification, it does this. Truex might lose another spot here. No, he gets... Oh, he almost turned himself across the nose of Suarez, and he's actually going to try to make a move on 7th place Priest. He went for the pass in turn one. Hold on a second. Uh... 
All right, let's see if that changes anything. And yeah, Chirux makes the pass. Uh, Priest losing positions. I apologize for not being able to cover that while I was away trying to fix the track. But nevertheless, it makes it. There's quite a bit going on in the midfield. People are going all over the place trying to make moves and such. In the mid pack, at the very least. I'm starting to wonder if that actually helped fix the race. It might have done, but I'm not sure. Down in the breaking zone. Oh! Boyer got booted by Larson as they went down into the, into the breaking zone. But Larson can't get by. Let's try decreasing it even further. I'm trying to just modify some stuff in the track, and I'm not sure if it'll fix the race mid-race or not. It looks like they're getting closer to each other than they were, but I can't really tell. The race in the midfield seems to have gotten better. But I, but it's hard to tell. What happened to... Oh, never mind. Harvick is actually pulling away a little bit now. Ooh, Byron trying to make a pass on Jones, and Jones trying to make a pass on Logano. Unless these guys are pitting. Yeah, Logano's going to go down pit road try and get the undercut. Logano to the pit lane. And that'll move... That'll bump Jones up in a second. The race... Nobody else pits. Logano was the only one to make his stop that time. Ooh, Blaney got booted by Truex, it seems. The race in the midfield has gotten pretty good. May I can't tell if these changes that I made are actually doing anything or not, though. I'm going to keep making them to maybe get it to be a little better. But I don't know if it's helping. Either way... The race goes on. Logano, like I said, was the only one to pit in that cycle. He's trying to get the undercut, it seems. And the question is, does it work? And you can see the way that those guys made that overtake on Larson. Or not Larson, excuse me, on Logano. The overtakes are possible, but nobody's trying it. Except for the midfielders. And it looks like we might have a couple more coming down the pit lane, and we do. Pretty much everybody's pitting. Logano was the only one that pit that time, and now everyone else comes down the pit lane. So now, the pit cycle. Who comes out on top? Last time we did this race, the leader that led into the pit cycle wasn't the leader after the pit cycle was over. So will we see another lead change on pit road? We're about to find out. Does anyone take just two tires? No, it looks like basically everyone's taking four. Yeah, everyone took four. Byron actually lost a spot to Elliot. Here comes Logano. Can Logano get by the leaders? Logano goes for it on Harvick. Logano takes the lead. The undercut was the right move, and Logano moves up into the lead. By a huge margin over Logano. Or, excuse me, Harvick. Byron loses a spot. Elliot going to try and make the move on Jones. Can't make it stick. Loses time. Yeah, Legato. Oh, Truex and Blaney make some contact in the bus stop. You can see, though, that undercut helped Legato so much. He's so far ahead of the previous leader, Harvick, that Harvick might lose this race. I don't know if he has enough time to catch back up.
Jones and Elliott are catching Harvick. But not very quickly, so Logano might have this race won. I don't think the changes that I did in the track con config did any difference, but... The race seems to have gotten better towards the end. Like, the changes I made should have made the racing very close, but it didn't do any. It doesn't seem to have done that much. Anyways, Logano leading the field, second Harvick, third Jones, fourth Elliott, and fifth is Byron. Truex dropped, it seemed to have lost a spot, he dropped to eighth. Now let's monitor the gap between Harvick and Logano. Is it closing at all, and by, if so, by how much per lap? Actually, no, the gap is increasing between Harvick and Logano, or at least it increased that time. He'll need to have help from Jones and Elliott if he wants to catch the 22. Logano, obviously the Daytona 500 winner, was his first win and his very first start in the series. Jones and Elliott have caught Logano, or not Logano, I'm dumb, Har Harvick, with six to go. Now, do they work with Harvick, or do they pass Harvick? The race in the midfield seems to have cooled down a bit after the pit cycle as everybody started to spread out. Ooh, Elliot went a little wide in the second to last corner. He lost some time. Now, did these guys catch leader Logano at all that lap? Logano's pace seems to be improving. They caught by three tenths that lap, but they only have but they have five to go. So that isn't going to be sufficient unless they somehow pull a miracle or Logano chokes. Logano ran second to Harvick all day until the pit stops and decided to try the undercut, and it worked perfectly. He was the only driver to pit on that lap, and it paid off. It certainly did pay off. These three haven't tried to pass each other at all for position. They are basically just trying to work together to catch Logano in time. But I don't think it's going to happen. Unless, like I said, we get a miracle and Logano chokes or something. Logano made it past the halfway point as well. He didn't pit before, so he easily has enough fuel to make it to the end unless he did a splash. But I don't think he did. He t definitely took four tires. Well, I mean, the gap closed by seven tenths that time. So you never know. They could catch him within the time frame. They could get there on the very last lap if they keep up this current pace. Ooh, Jones tries the overtake move on Harvick. Doesn't work. Down towards the short shoot. That gap but for to Logano is significantly closing. 
And Harvick, after all, is the closer, so can he maybe miraculously make the only on-track pass for the lead basically ever at this track and win the race? He doesn't have much time left, though. He's catching the leader, but not... But is it fast enough? He's got three more laps, and he's catching by about seven, tenth, seven to eight tenths per lap. It can happen. It can happen. But will he be able to make the overtake once he gets there? Catching is one thing, passing is another. And Jones is adamant to try and pass Harvick, and he just cost himself a position. I think that might have just won Logano the race. Because Harvick was working with Jones and Elliott, and Jones just ga basically gave up that position because he tried to make the pass, and now him and Elliott are side by side. I think this race might be over now. Because those guys are having a fierce battle for that position. They've been side by side since the exit of the bus stop. Jones still there on the inside, but I think Elliott will make the pass. No, Jones clears him. Two to go. Harvick's still caught by about eh, seven tenths. He's got enough time. And I think he might be in the draft of Logano. How much time can he gain? And can he get there before the end of the final lap? He's a couple miles an hour faster on the straightaway, but is there enough time? And Logano's tires are one lap older than his. This has been a pretty boring race, but the finish could be interesting. Down into the short chute. Logano has lost a lot of time. A lot of time. Harvick is definitely within draft range. Can he get there in time? The white flag is out for Joey Logano. Can he get his second win of the season, or can the closer Kevin Harvick get it? Harvick is nine-tenths back and within drafting distance. But he isn't within striking distance yet. It's a question of if Logano maybe makes a mistake or if Harvick can move him. Up the S's for the final time. Harvick is a lot faster on the straightaways. Almost going 160 compared to Logano's 150. Harvick is there, but can he make the pass? The question lies in the hands of the 4 and the 22. And possibly even the 20. The final time through the first, the two final corners. Harvick has caught the 22, but can he make the move? He's there. Can he move Logano? Final corner. Despite his greatest efforts, it will not be enough. Joey Logano will win the cheese at 355. After pulling a genius strategy, Kevin Harvick, despite leading all those laps, comes out just shy. And it is over. Joey Logano wins, Harvick second, Jones third, Elliott fourth, and rounding out the top five is the 24, William Byron. And looking at your post-race point standings, Logano was the points leader after, after last race, and he's the points leader still after this race. The top two people that were in points are one, two in the well, finish. The one, two people in the standings finish one, two in the in that race, and also in the same order as they are in the point standings. Although Harvick would have wished it was the other way around. In and the bottom three, looking at the bottom three in standings, 
is the 43 of Daryl Wallace Jr. And then Hamlin. And finally, the 33 of Jeffrey Earnhardt. That'll do it for Watkins Glen. Next will be another less exciting race, but still an exciting ra a decent race. We'll be going to The Rock, and we will see you then at North Carolina.